Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to carry out principal component analysis in R Studio. The video will include Conditioning data for PCA Extraction of components using Eigen and PR Comp function Display of scree plot Correlation of original variables with PCs Plotting the principal components The principal aim of principal component analysis is dimension reduction. Sometimes the data set consists of several variable. For example, the projects related to soil horizon data contains more than 100 variables. It is difficult to graphically inspect the main data structure of a multivariate data set. It is required to find components that express as much of the inherent variability of the complete data set as possible. PCA will generate as many components as there are variables. However, the majority of the inherent information in the data set is generally included in first few components. Taking the first few components results in a considerable reduction of the dimension of the data set. PCA is often used as first step for further multivariate data analysis procedures like Cluster analysis Multiple regression Discriminant analysis PCA is based on the correlation or covariance matrix. Let's start this analysis in our studio. The example data set used here is obtained from Swiss bank notes. It consists of 200 measurements. The first half of these measurements are from genuine bank notes. The other half are from counterfeit bank notes. The values were measured in millimeters. Six variables were measured as shown here. Use remove, graphics.off and shell function to clear data objects, values, and windows or plots. Use read.table function to paste the data set in text argument. Copy the measurements from sample data set including the variable names. Paste it in text argument in read.table function. This will create the data set. Use the head function to print the first six rows of data set. To scale the data use scale function. Scaling is critical while performing principal component analysis. PCA tries to get the features with maximum variance and the variance is high for high magnitude features. This skews the PCA towards high magnitude features. If center is true then centering is done by subtracting the column means of data from their corresponding columns. This will result in mean deviations. If scale is true then scaling is done by dividing the centered columns of data by their standard deviations. Head function will print the first six rows of the scaled data. Second step is the extraction of the principal components. Here I shall extract principal components by using Eigen function from base package and PR comp function from stats package. First I shall use Eigen function to calculate the Eigen values and Eigen vectors. Apply Eigen function to the covariance matrix of data set to get the Eigen values and Eigen vectors. Use the print function to see the results. The Eigen function decomposes data into Eigen values and Eigen vectors. An Eigen vector is a matrix of values that represents direction. An Eigen value is a value specifying the amount of variance in data in that direction. The first two components account for most of the variation in the data set. Use the same function to get the Eigen values and Eigen vectors for scaled data. Use print function to print the results for scaled data. You can see the difference in eigenvectors and eigenvalues. The variation in the first component in scaled data is reduced as compared to the non-scaled data. This reduction led to a little bit increase in the variation of the rest of the components in scaled data. You can also compute the proportion of variances. For this, first attach values with dollar sign to eigenscaled object to get variances. As the total variation is 6 so divide each variance with total variation to get the proportion of each variance. Use cumsum function for proportion of variance to get the cumulative proportions. The first PC explains 49% of the variation. The first three PCs explain 85% of the variation. Now let's compute the principal component vectors. For this multiply the scaled data matrix with matrix of scaled eigenvectors by using matrix multiplication operator. 
head function will print the first six rows of components matrix. Let's compute the same principal components using stats package. Load stats package by using require function. PR comp function requires X, center, and scale arguments. X argument specify the data set. True for center argument will shift the variables to be zero centered. True for scale argument will scale the variables to have unit variance. Use head function to print the principal components. Attach X with the PC object using dollar sign to print the first six rows of components. The PC values are the same as obtained using Eigen function however the signs are reversed. Use summary function to print variance related measures of components. PR comp function prints standard deviation while Eigen function prints the variance. Additionally you also get the information of proportion of variance and cumulative proportion. As during scaling we set true value for scale argument to scale the variables to have unit variation. This is why the total variation of all the components should be equal to the total variation of scaled components. Now let's display the variance explained by the PCs using plot function and scree plot function. First I shall use plot function to display variances or eigenvalues accounted for each component. Set X and Y axis labels using X and Y lab argument. Use main argument to set the title of the plot. You can magnify labels, axis and title by using CEX argument. The scree plot shows the most of the variation is due to the first few components. You can display the same results for PC object created using PR comp function. Use scree plot function where X argument specify the PC object created earlier. Use line for the type argument and type the title in main argument. You can also plot bars specifying variation in PCs using plot function for PC object. One may be interested to see the correlation of the original variables with the PCs. For this, first get the mean deviations for each variable. In the previous scale command just write false for scale argument to get the mean deviations. Head function will print the first six rows of mean deviations of each variable. Now let's compute the PCs for non-scaled data. Multiply mean deviations with the eigenvectors using matrix multiplication operator. Head function will print the first six rows of principal components. To see the correlation between PCs and the original variables use COR function. First combine the PCs with data variables before applying correlation function. This will result in correlation matrix of PCs and data variables in combination. Now let's choose the correlation matrix of variables for first two important PCs. Let's separate the first two important PCs for 7 to 12 variables. 7 to 12 shows the data variables while 1 to 2 represents the first two PCs. This will result in correlation matrix of the first two PCs with data variables. Let's plot this correlation matrix. Set the graphical parameters. Type S in PTY argument to generate a square plotting region. Divide the values from 0 to 360, with product of 180 and pi. Take cosine and sine of these values and combine these values using combine function. Now plot this object using plot function. Set the values for type, line type, color, and line width. Set main title, x, and y labels using main, x lab and y lab arguments. Set the size for labels, axis and title using cex argument. Add horizontal and vertical lines to the plot at zero tick point using abline function. Use text function to locate the position of variables in the plot. X argument specify the correlation matrix of first two PCs. For label argument list the variable names in quotations using concatenate function. Set the size of variable names using CEX function. The figure shows that the variables top, bottom and diagonal correspond to correlations near the periphery of the circle. These variables are well explained by the first two PCs. The first PC is essentially the difference between the bottom frame variable and the diagonal. 
The second PC is best described by the difference between the top frame variable and the sum of bottom frame and diagonal variables. The percentage of variance of length, left and right variable explained by the first two PCs is relatively small. Now let's plot the principal components showing the weights of genuine and counterfeit banknotes. In plot function argument x specify the first PC and argument y specify the second PC. In PCH argument the value 3 and 1 represent the type of symbols to be used for genuine and counterfeit banknotes respectively. The 100 value shows that the first 100 measurements from data set will be represented by type 3 symbols or plus signs. The plus signs will show the genuine notes measurements. The second hundred value shows that the second hundred measurements from data set will be represented by type 1 symbols or spheres. These spherical symbols represent the counterfeit notes. You can specify color for the first and second type of notes by using color argument. Main title, X and Y labels can be specified using main, X lab and Y lab arguments. You can magnify the size of labels, axis and main title using CEX argument. If we look simultaneously at both plots it shows that the genuine banknotes are roughly characterized by large values of bottom variable and smaller values of diagonal variable. The counterfeit banknotes show larger values of top variable and smaller values of the diagonal variable. To plot PCs obtained using PRComp function in stats package, Use by plot function. Where X argument specify the PC object created earlier. In choices I shall use first two PCs. Let's plot second versus third PC. Use two and three value in X and Y argument to represent the second and third PC. In by plot function for choices argument use two to three to specify the second and third PC. To plot first versus third PC use 1 and 3 in previous plot function. In by plot function use 1 and 3 for choices argument to specify first and third PC. In the next video I will show how to plot PCs using GG by plot package. I hope this video will help you to understand how to carry out principal component analysis using our program. Please comment below if you have any questions.